Nobody but you, Lord. Nobody but you. Nobody but you, Lord. Nobody but you. Will you brought me over, and you brought me safe in my Lord. Nobody but you. Nobody but you when I was sick, Lord. Nobody but you when I was sick, Lord. Nobody but you when you brought me over and you brought me safe. Let my Lord, nobody but you. Nobody but you, nobody but you, Lord. Nobody but you, nobody but you, Lord. Nobody but you, will you brought me over and you brought me safe. Let my Lord, nobody but you, Lord. Nobody but you when I was in trouble. Nobody but you when I was in trouble. 
but you, Lord. Nobody but you had to cry sometime, Lord. Nobody but you had to cry sometime, Lord. Nobody but you, well, you brought me over. And you brought me safe. Sunday service, Amen. where we're during this uh, pandemic, we're trying to bring church services to each and every home Amen. that would like to go to church. Since Amen. we can't enter the church right now, we're Amen. trying to provide some church services for Amen. you. Amen. And today, we're going to talk about the average teenager well, of today. Amen. This morning, mother was taking a teenage son and her uh, middle school son to school. Mm -hmm. This particular day, the middle schooler had some sandwiches and snacks he had to take to class. But previously that week, the kid had broken his leg. Mm -hmm. So when, they, when the mother drove up to the middle school and he got out, got his crutches, the mother asked the teenage son, will you help Johnny take this stuff into the school? He was hen and hawing as teenagers do. Mm -hmm. He really didn't want to do it. Mm -hmm. So he, he was, his face was torn up so bad. The mother said, wait, son, I, what do you think? What would Jesus do? Yeah. The teenager thought for a moment, and he said, Jesus will heal his leg so he can take his stuff in there by himself. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Amen. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. We are delighted that you have tuned in to join with us today, and we just thrilled to death that you are a part of our services this first Sunday in June. Amen. May God yes. bless you tuning in. At this time, we're going to ask Reverend Evans to come with our morning prayer. Reverend yeah. Evans. Our Father, mm -hmm. and our God, yeah. who are eternal from eternal, yeah. who is the creator and upholder of all things, mm -hmm. who is the source of life and life. Yeah. Yeah. Father, we ask you to receive us mm -hmm. as we draw near to thee yeah. in simple faith and in childlike confidence. Mm -hmm. Lord, to believe in you is to find meaning in life, mm -hmm. to experience your forgiveness is to find healing and peace. Mm -hmm. yeah. To love you and to trust you yeah. is to be able to face life and death mm -hmm. unafraid. Now, Lord, we want to thank you for your faithfulness, even when we are not faithful to you. Mm -hmm. well, thank you for standing by us and never leaving our side. Uh -huh. Thank you, O oh Lord, for the hope that we have in you. Mm -hmm. well, thank you, O oh Lord, for this new day, yeah. a chance to do better. Yeah. Thank you, O oh Lord, for the opportunity to know you and to love you more. Yeah. Lord, you've been good to yeah. And I just come to say thank you, Lord. Yeah. And then, Lord, I ask you to bless those that are sick this morning. Yeah. I ask you to bless the broken heart, the discouraged. Uh -huh. I ask you to bless those that are unemployed this morning. Yes. I ask you to bless those that cannot see their way out. Mm -hmm. Lord, you've been good to yes. us. Yeah. And then, Lord, I pray that I pray that you will clean our hearts up, oh Lord. Yeah. That you will put a new heart in us mm -hmm. so that we can do better. Yeah. Oh Lord, I ask you to help us to do it to others as you will have us to do it as we do it to ourselves. Yeah. And Lord, I ask you to help us to love our neighbor mm -hmm. as we love ourselves. Yeah. Have mercy, my Lord. Have mercy. Lord, I ask you to help us to speak the truth yeah. and live the truth mm -hmm. and do the truth. Please, Lord, we need your time like this. Lord, I ask you to bless our country right now. Lord, I ask you to restore us, Lord. I ask you 
you to help us to do what's right. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Please, sir. Yes. I ask you to guide each and every one of us yes. in these times, Lord. Amen. Please, Lord. Please. We need you right now. Yes, we, we can't do it without you. Uh -huh. We can't treat our fellow man right without you. Uh -huh. Lord, we need you to do it. We need you in our hearts. Yeah. We can't come out of this without you, Lord. Yeah. No matter what nobody else says. Yeah. I don't care what they're doing out there yeah. in the world. We need you, Lord. Yeah. We need you in our hearts yeah. so that we can do what's right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. I can't be a better person without you. Amen. No, I can't, Lord. Amen. No matter how hard I try, yeah. Yeah. I need you, Lord. Need you. I'm just a weak devil. I'm just a man. I'm just a human being. Yeah. But I need you, Lord. Yeah. We need you in these yes, times. Yes. So I'm just asking you to help us, Lord. Yes. That's all I'm praying for as well. I'm praying for everybody, Lord. Yes. I don't care who they is. I'm praying for everybody, Lord. Yes. I'm asking you to touch everybody. Yes. Please, Lord. Yes. Touch us, Lord. Bring us out. Please, Lord. And don't forget about those that have been touched by this virus, Lord. Yes. Some maybe don't forget. But, Lord, please touch. Yes. Help them, oh, Lord. Yes. Please, sir. Uh -huh. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. For the opportunity to just stand yeah. here and call on your name. Yeah. Thank you for the pastor of this church. Uh -huh. Thank you for the deacons. Yeah. Thank you for the members. Uh -huh. Please, Lord. Yeah. Keep our neighborhood safe. Yeah. Take care of us, Lord. Mm -hmm. In all this trouble. Yeah. In all this confusion. Yeah. Lord, we need you. We need yes, you. Please, Lord. Please, Lord. Please. Help. Help. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Again, to each of you, thank you for tuning in and being a part of our services today. And we are just delighted to have this opportunity to come and to share with you this first Sunday in June. Mm -hmm. And as we share today at the end of the message, mm -hmm. we will have Holy Communion. Amen. So we ask that if you have not prepared, please prepare for Communion. And all that you would need is a cracker and some grape juice, mm -hmm. and we will have that at the end of services. Amen. At this time, please join us as we go to New Testament teaching. Mm -hmm. In the New Testament, let us find the book of Mark, Mark chapter 1, and for our consideration, we shall read verses 38 through 42. In the gospel as recorded by St. Mark, mm -hmm. chapter 1, starting with verse number 38. Mm -hmm. Listen at what the writer has to share with us today. Mark 1, mm -hmm. starting with number 38. And he said unto them, mm -hmm. Let us go into the next town, mm -hmm. that I may preach there also. Yes. For therefore came I forth. Mm -hmm. And he preached in that synagogue mm -hmm. throughout all of Galilee yes. and cast out them. And there came a leper to him, mm -hmm. beseeching him, and kneeling down to him, and saying unto him, If thou wilt, mm -hmm. thou can make me clean. Yes. And Jesus moved with compassion, mm -hmm. put forth his hand, and touched him, and said unto him, I will be thy clean. Mm -hmm. And number 42, and as soon as he had spoken, yes. immediately mm -hmm. the leprosy departed from him, mm -hmm. and he was clean. Amen. Mm -hmm. The word of God for the children of God. Right, mm -hmm. And again, highlighting number 42, and as soon as he had spoken, immediately the leprosy departed from him, uh -huh. and he was clean. With that in mind, this morning, Jesus is a healer. Uh -huh. For those of us that are living in these trying times that we're living in, yes, sir. isn't it good news just to know that Jesus is a healer today? Uh -huh. yes, sir. As our lesson begins to unfold, we notice that our lesson is centered around a person that had leprosy, mm -hmm. and Jesus came into his life. I need to stop there and just say to somebody, no matter what you're going through, mm -hmm. Jesus just needs to stop by and make the changes yes, in your life. Yes, sir. As we look at this lesson, 
a leper was considered to be the most unclean person mm -hmm. that lived in the time of Jesus Christ. Yes. Leprosy was thought to be the result of some abundable sin uh -huh. that somebody had committed. Yes. And some of us are still thinking that way today. Mm -hmm. No matter what sickness we are going through, we're, we're saying that it's because of that sin. Yes. Could be could not be. Uh -huh. It might be for the will of the Lord. Yeah. And during this time, there was not a cure that was known for leprosy. Mm -hmm. Only God was considered to have the power to cure those mm -hmm. that had leprosy. Well, Again, let me stop here and tell you, no matter what kinds of diseases, viruses we got around us today, I know somebody that can heal everyone. Yes, sir. And that's Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. If we let him in our life, he can work some miracles in our life. Uh -huh. yeah. And as we continue, not only can Jesus heal mean diseases, mm -hmm. but he can even put back broken hearts. Yes, he can even pick you up when you're down and out. Yeah. He can even make new ways in your life. Uh -huh. He can be there in the midnight hour. Well, I'm glad to report to you the good news today that Jesus is still a healer yeah. right now. Yes, As we begin to look at our lesson, let me share a few things from this lesson. And the first thing that I see here, this lesson shows how Jesus was willing to help us. Uh -huh. Let me say that again. This lesson shows how Jesus was willing to help us. Uh -huh. That is in verses 38 and 39. Yes. We see Jesus leave from where he is to go to help somebody else. Right. Right. Yeah. Today, many of us do not want to help others. All right. Many of us are focused on sin. Uh -huh. In fact, many of us will not do anything to help others. Yeah. And many of us are quick to say, I did it for myself. They better do it for themselves. Mm -hmm. I ain't getting that reminders, y'all. You better be careful what you sow. All right. Probably will come up in a while, yeah, yeah. and it'll find its way back to you. Mm -hmm. We will say people are so sorry. They just won't do nothing for themselves. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we aren't able to do things for right. ourselves. Right. We need some help yes. from somebody else, yes. y'all. Some folk need a helping hand. Yeah. They needed a helping hand in the time of Jesus. And guess what? Some of us need some help right now. Right now. Somebody's yeah. going through some situation right, right, now. right now. And yeah. they need some help. Yeah. Yeah. So Jesus is teaching us it is all right <coughs> to help somebody that needs some help, y'all. And be careful how you treat everybody. Yeah. The old folk used to say, what well, goes around uh -huh comes around. Yes, sir. Now your neighbor might be sick today, mm -hmm. but who knows how you gonna be next week, y'all. All right. You All right. might need a head name. Yes. So if you can help somebody, get the lesson from Jesus that reach out and help whoever you can. You, you know that tomorrow is not promised. All right. Then I read in Luke 6 and 31. Uh -huh. Listen at what it says. And as ye would that men should do to you, uh -huh. do ye also yeah. to them likewise. Yeah. So Jesus is teaching us in this lesson to reach out mm -hmm. and help somebody. If you got to go out your way, it's all right to go out your way to help somebody. Yes, sir. When you want to have pleasures in life, you don't mind going out the way to have those Amen. pleasures. Amen. So why can't we go out our way and help somebody yeah. right yeah. along the way? Again, this lesson is teaching us that Jesus is a healer. Uh -huh. Then I look back a second time in our lesson. And the second point that comes from this lesson is, from time to time, you will need some help, y'all. Yeah, yeah. We got to be careful how we treat other folk. Mm -hmm. Just as other folk need help, you will need help. Uh -huh. Everyone needs some help from time to time. As the old folk used to say again, if it ain't one thing, All right. then it's another. Yeah, it's, yeah. it, it, it's amazing how trouble knows how to come and knock on your door. Uh -huh. And trouble does not have respected persons. No, it'll knock on your door, it'll yeah. knock on my door. Uh -huh. It'll knock on my neighbor's door, it'll knock on your neighbor's door. Trouble will find you out. Amen. So I'm here to remind us today, you cannot get away from trouble. I don't care where you go, 
there's going to be some trouble there. Uh -huh. You might tell me, say, well, preacher, I pray all the time. Mm -hmm. You might pray all the time, but the trouble will still come yes. and check on you. Yes, so I'm here to tell you, everybody have their moment of uh, ups and downs, yes, and troubles, and everything going on all right in their life. But just because everything is going all right this Sunday morning, uh, it doesn't mean that on Monday morning, uh, trouble right. won't come and see yeah, about yeah, you. So yeah. all of us need some help. Yeah. And there's no need of trying to fool ourselves uh -huh. and pretend that we can live on this earth by ourselves. Yeah. You cannot live here by yourself. You're going to need some help yeah. every now and then. Yeah. And you ought to live so. That when you need some help, somebody will come and see about you. Yeah. Yes, sir. I'm not the only one that needs help. Mm -hmm. All of us need a little help. Yes, Listen at what Psalms 121, mm -hmm. 1 and 2 say. I lift up to my eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. And that sort of reminds me. When neighbors don't see about you, mm. when friends don't see about you, mm. God will always be there. Yeah, well, man. All I'm telling you today, today is that Jesus either is a healer. Mm -hmm. yeah. As I look back a third time in this lesson, the third point is, in order to get him, first humble yourself. Y'all yeah. yeah. uh -huh. you can hear what I say? Uh -huh. I say, in order to get him, uh -huh. first humble yourself. Many of us got such great pride mm -hmm. that before we are ask anybody to help us, uh, we'll walk away. Yeah, well. I'm here to remind us today, put aside that pride. Mm. If you need help, you just need to help. Yes, All right. And if you know somebody that can help you, yes. go and ask them for a help. Yes, man. And many of us are quick to say, well, if I ask somebody, well, they'll be knowing my business. Mm -hmm. They might know your business, uh -huh. but if they help you, yes, that's what you need. Yes. Right. You need a help in hand. Yes. And it does not matter yes. who yes. knows your business and that you will help along the way. Yes, sir. Uh, when you need help, you just need help. Yes, sir. And some of us are quick to say, well, no, I'm not going to ask for help. Because mm. folk won't talk about it. Yeah. Yes. We are guilty of talking about one another. Yes. You talk about me, uh -huh. I talk about you. Yeah. But now, if you're going through and needing some help, Come on, and if you don't ask nobody, uh -huh. somebody's still going to talk about you. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody's yeah. going to say, you know, so-and-so, they were going through. Yeah. But they were just so stout-hearted, they wouldn't ask nobody to give away every night. Yeah. They're going to talk about you either way. Yes, sir. So go on and ask for the help. Let them help yeah. and let them talk about it. And you yeah. just keep on getting yeah. yeah. That's right. Yeah. Mm. Lay aside that pride. Mm -hmm. That pride has called many of us to shed some midnight yes, tears. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That pride has called some of us to carry some battles that we should not carry. Yeah. Some of us have bear, uh, bear some heavy burdens that we did not have to bear mm -hmm. if we just had some. A little help yeah. and humble, I would say. Uh -huh. So again, I'm saying to you, lay aside your pride mm -hmm. and go on and get help Jesus. and do what the Lord wants you to yes, do. Sir. For I read in his word where he said, humble thyself mm -hmm. in the sight of the Lord and he will lift you up. If we just learn how to humble ourselves mm -hmm. and to walk humbly among men and women, boys and girls, and before the Lord, the Lord can lift you. Well, yeah. But it starts with being humble, y'all. Do I have any humble folk listening yeah, to me? Yes, I'm here to tell you, God is a healer. Mm -hmm. yeah. When I look back here for the fourth time, mm -hmm. it tells me it's okay to ask for help. Yes. If folk just don't volunteer, it's all right to ask for help. Mm -hmm. And Jesus is the one to be healed. Let him be the first one that you ask. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we'll ask the wrong one mm -hmm. and don't get no help, y'all. We'll continue to suffer. But when you start out with Jesus, mm -hmm. he'll help you. Yes, 
And sometimes the way Jesus will help you, he'll put other people in your pathway. Y'all did know that, man. God does have servants that help other servants out. And sometimes God can put those two paths and come together so that one can help the other. Amen. We have hope that will not and cannot help us sometimes. Uh -huh. Everybody that you ask can't help you. All right. But don't give up because I can give you. Mm -hmm. Maybe the next person down the road can get you along the way. So just keep on asking mm -hmm. until you're able to get the help that you need. Yeah. There are some folk that you ask they're going to laugh in your face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some are going to talk about you mm -hmm. and call you everything but a child yeah. of God. But that's the side, y'all. You don't give up. Let's keep on working. Yeah, yeah. Let's keep on moving on down the road. Mm -hmm. And sooner or later, you'll find somebody that'll take time out and give you a hand. Yeah. And guess what, church? I learned something in life. My six day year, it'll talk me some things. And one of those things that it has taught me, Sometimes you would get some help from folk you thought wouldn't help you. Yeah, yeah, amen. Right. amen. Right. You'd be surprised sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. And sometimes folk that you thought would help you, yeah. they, they come and help you, and they got a smile on their face, uh -huh. and you don't never, ever hear anything about it. Yeah. No. So I'm saying to you, it's okay to ask for help yeah. when you need it. Uh -huh. For the scriptures say Come unto me, mm -hmm. ye that are heaven laden, yeah. and I'll give you rest. Yes, sir. See, there's help in the Lord, y'all. Yeah, it is. But I kept on reading here, mm -hmm. and as I kept on reading, I noticed that Jesus is the sinner's helper. Mm -hmm. Many of us, we got criteria yes, sir. that we use to help somebody, mm -hmm. and some of our criteria doesn't amount to very much. All right. Uh -huh. Some of us got the thing that if you ain't got a big enough bank account or something, yeah. me, I ain't gonna hit you. All right. If you don't live in the kind of house I think you ought to live in, I ain't gonna hit you. You don't drive the kind of car I think you ought to drive, I ain't gonna hit you. All right. But I'm glad that Jesus is the sinner's mm, yeah, He doesn't care how much money you got in your bank account. He doesn't care what kind of car you drive. Yeah, he yeah. doesn't care what kind of house yeah. you live in. Yeah. You ask him for help, he'll help you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And his help does not come with attachments yeah. to it. Yeah. I've learned that sometimes men are happy, yeah. but their help comes with attachment. Yeah. 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 But God's help does not come with attachment. Uh -huh. He'll come in and he will make a difference in your life. Here in this lesson, there is a leopard that needs some help. Yeah. Folk were moving away from him, falling by the wayside to keep from being close to him. Yeah. But I'm glad that this man came to Jesus huh? and sought help from Jesus. Well, he came to the right one and he got the help that he needed. Yeah. Well, and I give it to you today. If we go to Jesus, everything's going to be all right. Yeah. If we go to him and ask him for help, he'll help us along the way. Yeah. Listen at Mark 2 and 17. Uh -huh. When Jesus heard it, uh -huh. he said unto them, They that are whole have no need of a physician, yeah. but they that are sick. Uh -huh. I came not to call the righteous, uh -huh. but sinners unto repentance. Yeah. I'm glad that Jesus can help me today. Uh -huh. And I'm glad that I learned something else in this lesson. And Point number six, it tells us that Jesus is a compassionate God. Yeah, yeah. Aren't you glad that we serve a God that is compassionate? Well, yeah. He cares about his children. Yeah. Whether y'all believe it or not, we ain't got tears running down your eyes. The Lord cares about you. Well, uh -huh. When trouble knock on your door, mm -hmm. the Lord cares about you. Yeah. When you cannot pay your bill, the Lord cares about you. Yeah. Yeah. Because the God that I serve is a compassionate God. Uh -huh. When your best friend and your last friend have turned their backs on you, well, God will still be a friend in the midnight hour. Uh -huh. I serve a God that is compassionate, y'all. Yeah. And I heard the old church said he can reach way down yeah. and pick you up. Uh -huh. right. Isn't he all right? Yeah. Yeah. Do I have anybody listening to me today? Yes. Know that the Lord is all right. Yes. 
I heard somebody say he's all right early in the morning. I heard somebody else say he's all right in the morning time. And I heard somebody else say he's all right in the noonday hour. And I heard somebody else say he's all right in the evening hour. But the one I like the best is he's all right up in the midnight hour. With aches and pain, get to be a little unbearable. I, I can call on the name of the Lord. And he will come and see about me. I heard the old church say, he'll come and be a doctor for you. If anybody in here know that he'll be a doctor for you. Not only will be a doctor for you, but I kept on reading in the word. He'll be a lawyer for you. In a court room. All you got to do is call on it. But I'm so glad I kept on reading. I'm learning for myself. I learned y'all. When mama is not there, Jesus will be a mama for you. When daddy no longer around, Jesus will be a daddy for you. Ain't he all right? He's all right. He's all right. He's the lady of the valley. He's the prime and moment star. And if you invite Jesus in, mm -hmm. he will get there yeah. in times like this. Well, there might be somebody mm -hmm. that have heard this word mm -hmm. and know that Jesus is a helper. Mm -hmm. And they want to connect with the church. Mm -hmm. This is a good sign yeah. to connect with the church. Uh -huh. All you got to do after this broadcast mm -hmm. is just give me a call. My number is on the record. Yes. And I talk to you. I help you mm -hmm. to do what you need to do. Yes, sir. This is a good sign yes. to come over on the Lord's side. Yes, sir. And if you are willing, mm -hmm. ready, yes. just let me know. Yes. And we'll work with you mm -hmm. and work all things out. Again, at this time, we are preparing for the Holy Communion. Thank you. 
This is our holy communion. Eternal Father, we ask that you go with us and be with us. Take care of us this upcoming week because we know that there are things out before us mm -hmm. that are trying to knock us down. Mm -hmm. But Father, we know that you are our helper. Mm -hmm. Bless us and be with us. Now may your grace go and be with all of us. Mm -hmm. This is our prayer. Amen. 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 